Okay, uh, here we have my latest uh, LPC. I call that Lighting Performance Controller. It's from uh, Luke Stratton Designs. Basically, this guy is a fully functioning alternative to a Grand MA2 full size. Uh, you actually have, including the knobs here, you have more fader playbacks than a real MA, way more button playbacks, and if you combine it with a, a couple touch screens, you've got all the same tactile input. With the exception of the encoder knobs on a, on a real MA. I haven't figured those out. One of my uh, newer features here is I've got the LPK25 from Akai set up as the X keys on uh, on a full-size MA. So here you've got uh, X1 through 10 and then 11 through 20. And then um, these are mapped to just some extra executors for you. But these three are, are mapped to the user buttons and the list button. So as I click these guys... It changes what the X keys do, whether you got views uh, or I've got the second view loaded to some stock MA tricks uh, as well as some um, align macros and some next and previous macros. So when you're on this screen, you can, you know, this will do two pan wings and this will be next fixture, previous fixture, or the whole set. Uh, and then list switches to this view, which turns all the X keys into um, executors. A couple cool things about this console, it comes with an MA2 1K node, which supports uh, a thousand parameters in MA, as well as a DMX King Artnet 4 port 3 pin node, um, which doesn't open any, any parameters in MA, but it gives you four more universes. So it gives you around 1500 or so parameters if you patch them the right way. Now you can't fill all six universes, but let's say you walk into a house club uh, or a theater or something, and there's a bunch of conventionals or some movers on an extra universe, you're not limited to just the two outputs here. You've got up to six. So that really gives you some flexibility. Because of all the networking involved between the computer and the node and the Artnet node, uh, they come stock with a Linksys router, which uh, is also wireless. So if you want to hook up an iPad and do some remote focusing, you can. Um, of course, we've got a good old power strip. There's a USB hub built in here, a little little work light underneath trackball which uh, okay so um console you know case nodes apcs warranties included usually comes in around under five grand depending on shipping and uh options and whatnot um they're all custom built so you know if you want something different added i can do that um even more so though a lot of guys have just bought the programming to to pull off the lpc um, that's $300. Uh, that includes a bone file, uh, an MA template show file, uh, which you could also use to load in the mapping to a current existing uh, MA file, as well as a, a PDF laying out where everything is mapped uh, in the two software programs. Um, I, uh, I also offer training both on site and uh, here in my hometown of Knoxville. Uh, guys will fly in, we'll train for a couple days, the fly out. Um, I'm also on tour all year with Dogopod, so maybe if I've got some off time, I can uh, schedule some time in training and whatnot. Um, either way, hit me up, LukeStratton at gmail.com. Check out my Facebook page, Luke Stratton Designs. Um, on Twitter, Luke underscore Stratton. All that good stuff. So, uh, hope to see you soon at a Dogopod show. Maybe on the internet. Who knows? See ya.